box if you get 50 CFM or 100 CFM that's gonna actually show up on test and balance report so it's really important to make sure that you get them completely closed uh, just to give a little bit more information here let's go one more step and say that let's say that VAV box uh, that we're dealing with has uh, 3000 CFM and that is the uh, maximum amount of airflow that's capable of going through the box so if that damper is completely at a hundred percent wide open that's how much airflow is going to flow through that box 3000 cfm at one inch of static uh, but even though the box can do 3000 the uh, engineers and the mechanical contractors and so forth, they work together to, to specify um, a, a larger box than what they really need so really this box only needs to put out let's say 2400 cfm Okay, now the difference there is about 600 CFM. Um, that's a difference, looking at uh, these two numbers here, uh, you'll see that that is about 20%. Okay, so just by looking at those two numbers here, you can actually see that you don't need to make the damper go to 100%, which is just a complete flat damper with them you know, being wide open like that with the air going across there like that. You don't need them to be 100% to get the 2400 CFM that's rated by the engineer or that's designed. This is your design flow. Um, so really, to get the 2400, you're talking about something like, let's say, right here. At your 80% mark, you're actually going to see your 2400 CFM. And at that 80%, uh, you might be somewhere around here in the 90s or so forth. But this is an example of saying that it's not so important that your damper be at the maximum airflow here uh, when it's at the 100% mark. Uh, what's really important, though, is that when that damper is told with the actuator to be 0%, uh, definitely you need to have zero airflow with no leak by. Alright, let's go to the next slide real quick.